Over the last five years, EcoCooling's direct evaporative cooling systems have proven to deliver high efficiency, world-class PUEs and cost savings with relatively low capital cost. But if it is so good, then why is it not being adopted by everyone? In this video, we shall discuss the perceived risks of using fresh air in data centers and how EcoCooling and their clients have developed mitigation strategies to address these risks. The first key point is that using fresh air and direct evaporative cooling is only possible because modern IT equipment is far more robust than the old mainframes and paper tapes. These dictated close control air conditioning systems are very expensive to install and run. Based on this new kit and relaxed manufacturer operational guidelines, the EcoCooling CREC system has been specifically developed to provide the airflow, temperature, relative humidity, cleanliness and resilience required to cool modern IT equipment. A combination of EcoCooling's vast experience with over 250 data centre installations from 5 kilowatts to over 1 megawatt, together with the latest recommended cooling guidelines from ASHRAE, provides the engineering and operational basis for a compliant system. Maintaining temperature is simple with evaporative cooling in the UK without any requirement for refrigeration. Supply temperatures are normally around 18 Celsius and never go over 25 Celsius. Relative humidity is now a non-issue. The EcoCooling CREC control system removes all risk of condensation. The unique EcoCooling control system provides the processes which deliver compliant conditions at a fraction of the energy use and operating cost of a conventional solution. As a result, some of the largest players in the industry, including Cambridge University Engineering Department, have been operating at a PUE of under 1.1 for over four years. With the proven savings and mitigated risks, can you afford to dismiss the option of cooling your data centre with a correct system? Contact EcoCooling with the links and buttons on this page and take the first steps to major energy reduction for your data centre.